Hello everyone, this is HDSKSK, we're back with some more Fallout campaign playthrough action. There we go, now we're in the game, and remember guys, we found the water chip, the water chip, the water chip, we've, oh, oh, you feel very nauseous, alright, well, thanks for stopping me to let me know that I feel very nauseous, that's, uh, that's quite nice of you, alright, let's go back up to Vault 13, baby, here we go, and, yeah, Oh, here's an encounter. Who is it? Who done it? Oh, it's scorpions. Oh, great. Of course I got poison. Well, let's, uh, first of all, let's use this gun just because I have a ridiculous amount of ammo for that gun. And I should actually probably use the hunting rifle now that I think about it. However, oh, oh, I forgot to reload. All right. Well, there was my turn. That was very productive. I have, I have a feeling that Ian and, uh, there you go, punch him in the face. I have a feeling that Ian and Dogby can definitely handle this. Dogby usually kills them one-on-one -on -one and wasn't able to do that time. Can you guys please just kill one of these? That would be great. I would prefer not to get more and more poisoned. All right, so there we go. Shoot him in the eyeballs, babe. What? I missed? Uh, all right, time to run away. Come on, Tycho. There you go. 20 damage on that one. Dogby, you finish him off. Yes. Now we're talking. See, now we're working as a team. Now, wait, well, you know what I want to try? What happens when I burst mode these guys? Burst mode! Aw, oh, it's the same death. Kind of sad about that. All right, well, thank you for the free experience, you stupid scorpions. Man, they give them quite a bit of experience what they really are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the antidote. And that should... You lost five current poison levels, so hopefully... Hopefully that got rid of all my poison level. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's a way to tell, but I should be. I should be okay. All right, back to Vault 13. These guys are gonna die of uh, having no water just because it takes me so long to get all the way up there. Uh oh, water supply is running low. Don't worry, I found it. What's funny is they actually have like a hundred days, and that is a long time. And they should just believe in me. They should believe in my powers because I'm awesome. I apparently feel very nauseous again. Well, sometimes you just got to get over it, okay? You've got to get over it. So we're making the long trek all the way back to the vault. And once we get there, uh, we're going to get them the water chip, which should give me some fatty XP, hopefully. And then I might go back to the hub, kind of check out what's going there. And continue on through. Oh, God. Living quarters, command center, cavern entrance. I guess we'll just go here. Heard about some of these places before, but never been in one. Seems nice and clean. A little too clean for my taste. Uh, yeah, it's it's kind of, it takes a while to get used to. You know, this is the rich lifestyle. And I wonder, can I talk to any of these people? I don't even know. I'm glad you are doing well. Well, thank you, man who has a very large package. How about you? You want to talk to me? You look okay to me. All those rumors must be untrue. Welcome back, Jesse Cox. How goes the search? It's going okay. Wait, wait, what can this guy actually do? I need some help. You seem okay to me. Come back if you need some. Oh, he's a healer. He is a healer. Good to know. Well, I was feeling nauseous. How, how can you say I look fine when I was obviously feeling nauseous? All right, guys. You got you to gotta step off of me here. You got to let me get through. And I also got to open this door for let the dog in here. What up, dog meat? Oh, you know, just hanging out. No big deal. All right. Anyone, anyone want to talk to me? It's good to see you again. Everyone's being kind of weird. Got to be honest. Uh, let's go on to floor two, see if there's anything happening. See what the haps is up here. Ah, this person looks different. Teresa. You, uh, you want to come with me, babe? Go with me and wander the wastes? How fair is your journey? Uh, not so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you're able to find the chip soon. With all the hazards I've been running into, it may take some time. Hmm, from what I've read, the outside isn't really all that dangerous, but I suppose that you would know better than I, wouldn't you? Well, you know, it's going pretty well. Um, it's good to hear that I knew that the outside world couldn't be as bad as everyone says. I mean, our ancestors lived outside, right? But that paranoid overseer won't let us leave. Let's see. You're right. The outside world isn't all that bad. The world is dangerous to the unprepared. I knew that the outside couldn't be too bad. That's why I've been trying to convince some people to come outside with me. I think that we have a better chance of survival out there. Uh, that's probably a good idea. A lot of us think so. That's why we're planning to take some supplies and head in a few days. Say, do you have any advice for us? Okay, well, thanks. Actually, let me try something. It's going pretty well. Um, isn't that bad? What are you smoking? Oh, get real. Do you really think that we can live in this vault generation after generation? Maybe you can find a new chip. But what happens when the next thing breaks down? And the next? 
Maybe we can't stay here forever, but rushing out into the world without preparation, without the consent of the group, isn't the answer. Oh, come on, wake up. If he thinks the outside is so dangerous, then how come he sent you out there? The man just has the control complex. You're a stupid tool, and you don't even know it. All right, well, you know what? I'm done with you. I, I tried. I tried to help out, and you're just being crazy. So what can you do? All right, so these are all Vault 13 citizens. Nothing really... Nothing really that. Oh, Lyle, this is a special guy. I can talk to him. It's all about Lyle. What up, Lyle? Hello, how are you holding up? Not so good. Ever since I had one of my water rations stolen the other day, things have been getting uh, going downhill. Everybody is getting scared and nobody knows what to do. Um, I hope it gets better. Yeah, I hope so too. Let me talk to him again. I don't know if there's any quests I can do. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really want to chit chat as well. He's just all crazy about his water. All right, these are all citizens, no one's special. Cindy, what up, Cindy? Let's see what Cindy has to say. Hello, just Cox, have you found the water chip yet? Not yet, I haven't had that much luck, not yet, but I know where to find it. By the way, how are you doing? Um, I'm afraid of what is happening. Someone has been stealing water and everyone is on edge. Who would do such a thing? Some people have been accused and fights have broken out, but nobody really knows. All right, so there's uh, there's some issues going on. I do have the chip, right? Like, this is this is correct. Yeah, I have the water chip. I guess I just like to lie to people. It's like, hey, people I grew up with who've taken care of me my whole life. Nope, haven't found that water chip, you know, but I'm done. Hopefully someday. Hopefully someday I'll find that water chip. And let's see, citizen, citizen. I imagine they're a citizen. You can't talk to them, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, citizen, are you a citizen? Yes, you are. Big booty, big booty over here looking at the computer. And, oh, how about this guy? The water guard. What up, water guard? Hello, how are you doing? Can I take some supplies? I'm not feeling very well. Someone cracked my head with a big pipe. I went to the medic, but his head, my head still hurts. Sure hope someone catches the jerk that hit me. Um, why did they do that? Well, they attacked me while I was here pretty late one night. Usually I go home by 8 or so, but I was staying late since someone had some water stolen and I was checking our supplies. Next thing I know, I wake up in the med lab with a big bump on my head. Things are getting crazy around here. Someone's going to get killed for water soon, and I don't know what we can do about it. Um, this sounds like a this sounds like a job for H to the Husky Husky. And uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Just, uh, oh my god, 40? What, what are you even supposed to do with these waters? There's two of them in there. I, I honestly have no idea what I would even do with that much water. I don't really need that stuff either. So we'll see if there's anything useful in here. I have a I have a feeling that there's not anything useful because you could run in here at the start of the game. Oh god, really guys? Really guys? Is this is this how it's gonna be right now? Uh, maybe if I talk to Ian. Um I need to change formation. Move out to a longer range. Alright, maybe maybe you'll move away now. Uh, I need to keep move out to a longer range. All right, guys. No, but for reals, I uh, there you go. Whew. Had me worried as hell. Oh wait, I didn't tell him he could leave. He's not leaving, is he? Oh god. Oh no, come back. Come back. Uh, thanks for your help. Uh, what sort of weapons? I need to change formation. All right, keep it a moderate distance, okay? That that was terrifying. I thought homie was like piecing out for sure. Uh, oh, I'll take the med packs. Hopefully, hopefully no one minds, seeing as how I'm saving the vault and all. All right, so actually these doors open automatically, which that's, or no, I guess I have to open them first, and and then they open automatically. All right, so who has been stealing the water? This is a real who done it. I'm actually not sure, but so let's go talk to the overseer. Let's see what's uh, what's up with that. Wouldn't it be hilarious if he was like an overseer from StarCraft uh, 2? That'd be, I would be entertained by that at least. All right, so homie has a gun up here, so we can probably talk to her. Oh, she's the officer. Uh, good to see you again. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, I need some weapons. Why would there be a locked door in the vault? Um, I'm in charge of vault security and law enforcement. You might not know it, but the vault wouldn't run as well if it wasn't for me. It is. Without proper uh, adherence to the laws, the vault would soon be a lawless place with no direction that would jeopardize the safety of us all. Now that I've been outside, are there, are there only any laws that apply specifically to me? I've seen some places in the outside world that suffer because they have no laws. You see, I knew that would happen. People obeying law, blah de blah. Are you gonna are you gonna let me in here? Probably not. The security door is locked. I need some weapons. The overseer has not authorized me to open the armory and get you more weapons. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Please, I really need them. Man, she uh she does not want to give me free stuff, that's for sure. Um, so here's all these guys. The overseer should be right up here. And indeed he is, Overseer, my man! 
What is going on? Yes, but I think we should talk more about letting people leave the vault. Oh, should I do that, or is he going to be angry? I, I'm just going to go with yes. Okie dokie. One moment, the chip is initializing. Here, 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 here. There it goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working, and it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. Nothing? No. Oh, no. It was something. Don't downplay what you've done. You've saved a lot of lives. All right. Now we need a report on what's out there. Please, go to the library. Wow, go to the library? Whew, this sounds like a real fun time for me. All right, let's see. You gained 7,500 experience points for returning the water chip and saving the vault. Congratulations. You have gone up a level. You log your reports in the system. You should return to the overseer to finalize your progress. Well, first of all, I should level up. That's uh, that's definitely a thing that's going to happen. And my speech could probably use a little bit more work. So let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's just power speech up. And then next level, I'll put him back into more weapons. And body boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Sorry, guys, that I, I kind of made you have to stay at the library. Now it's a little bit boring. But let's go talk to the old overseer. See what he's up to. And apparently these doors don't want to open now. So I have to manually open them like a plebeian. All right, so now we're going to go talk to the overseer who basically just chills in his giant chair all day, which is, uh, I, sounds kind of like me, let's be honest. Apparently I can't get there. There we go. I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> In fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. <sighs> the mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe... That I don't really understand it, but... It looks like someone's generating new mutants. And at a startling rate. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. All right, no, I'll just, uh, I'll just do everything. How about that? Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Even better, tell me it's been destroyed. Good, but hurry. The more time they have to produce them, the harder they'll be to stop. You know what? I, I do not approve. If you want me to go kill mutants, you got to give me more weapons. That's, that's all there is to it. Thank you for returning the water chip. It's really going to help morale and keep people breaking vault law, or keep them from breaking vault. Can you just give me weapons now? Uh, let's see. Can I try and can I try and lockpick this? Hey, oh, well, hey, I uh, I picked the lock, so so you know, let's just let's just see here. Let's just, you know, maybe if I just kind of wander on in. Oh, she uh, really. Really, woman? Well, let's see what's in here. Let's see if this is even worth it. A, a knife! You're going to try to kill the guy, your savior, over a knife. Oh, I didn't get a... I didn't get a look in there. You know what? This is... This is just absurd. A, a shotgun. Really? Because I haven't seen those before. Uh, let's see. I think that's all it's... Oh, wait. There's one more locker. Alright, let's see. Wait, maybe she's the only one who's going to attack me. Oh! Shooting Ian in the back of the head. Good job. Good job there. Oh, no, they're pissed. Wait, is that... Who... Who was... Oh, is he punching my dog? Really? You're gonna punch my dog and a pistol? Okay. Yeah, no, you guys have great weapons over here. Let me see. Yeah, dog meets over there. All right, let's go ahead and load. I cannot believe they are that uppity in this place. Well, I don't, I don't even want to save you guys anymore. Enjoy your water, because you're all a bunch of tools. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. 
So now, basically at this point, to beat the game, you can go do the uh, the mutants, kill the mutants off. But honestly, I kind of want to get some better weapons. I want to I want to explore a little bit. I want to get some more armor because this game is meant to be played that way. I don't care what anyone says. Come on, go on the green. Go on the green. And I guess we're just going to go ahead and leave. Oh my god, is this seriously a rat? Oh no, what will I ever do with this rat? Ugh, that's what I'm going to do. And that's how you deal with rats. Alright, 25 experience from that kill. Yeah, I'll add that to my, to my total. Here we go. Alright, well, before I leave, go ahead and save. Booty booty boom. And where should I go to next? You know what? Let's just, uh, let's just go this way. Because, I mean, at this point, at this point in the game, we got all the time in the world. So we might as well just start heading south, see what we can find, if anything, hopefully something. Oh, no, it's a scorpion. What are we ever going to do? I just don't know. We're going to shoot him in the eyes. Oh, my God. Did we seriously not kill that thing? Thank you, Ian. Thank you, guys. Very nice of you. All right, 100. I gotta say, 110 experience is quite a lot for those. Do do do. Actually, we need to go over one more. We're gonna have the very fancy angle. There we go. All right, that looks like a city, but it's actually not, because there's no giant green circle to let me know to go there. All right, so I think this is the hub, right? Yeah. So I'm probably just gonna come down here and then tr double back to go to the hub. Because i got to get my fancy armor. Because I don't know where else I'm going to get that armor. I mean, I saw the guards with it at the hub, so we'll cut across. Look at that. we got some Indiana Jones-style traveling going on. And let's wait till daytime. Come on, one more. That should be daytime. All right, so downtown and enter. Let's just go to downtown. And start, uh, start exploring around town, see what we got going on. And remember, my rule is no stealing. Oh, these are the caravans. I seriously, I, I don't even care about caravans at this point. I, I could do one caravan run. Let's see what we got here at the old general store. What have you got, baby? Apparently nothing on there. This store sucks. All right, we should probably talk to this guy. Um, I'd like to buy something. Let's see what he's got. Lots of stim packs. Motion sensor. Book of science. Uh, electronics, healing, traveling. Oh, they do have super stim packs. I didn't know they had those in this game. I couldn't remember that. A radio. Flamethrower ammo. That's kind of nice. All right, let's see if there's anything I can just kind of give up here. Unfortunately, I'm not carrying it. Grenades are fun, but do I really need them? All right, let's just do 750. I'm probably just going to end up hurting someone with these. All right, so we are going to... Ian, give me your items. Actually, does Tycho have anything? Let's see. Oh, he's also has shotgun shells, though. So we'll give him, give him three stacks of those. Got to keep him happy with that. And Ian, come here, baby. Come here. Oh, guys, he's trying to stay far away from me, isn't he? Because I told him to. Oh, my God. He's, he is so, all right, Ian. I, I'm glad that you're listening to me, but just, just stand still. Um, so I have that. I can sell this. I'm really not going to use this pistol. I can sell this lighter. Rockets are probably not a good idea for me to have. I do like having these. We'll get the flares. Get the drinks. And this ammo I can sell. Crowbar I can sell. No, I can't even carry it right now. Alright, so let's go back in here. I would like to barter. And this is what I have to offer. I know it's kind of weird. I have some dynamite, which is apparently worth 500. I have a lighter, which is apparently worth $100. This pistol, which is worth a lot. All right, let me see if I can do this and then... See, I don't need the knife. Flamethrower ammo would be nice, but it's not first on my list. Um... Yeah, let's go for the flamethrower ammo. I don't even know. I don't even know if I can. I'll use this and this and this. 
And let's see, super stimpaks are nice. Hmm. Is this a science book? Yeah, I guess I'll take the science book. And for now, since you, since I'm too rich for your blood, take this away. Oh my god, this pistol's worth so much. This is crazy. All right, how much are these? Let's try that. Will you take it? Of course you won't. Let's just get rid of one of these. And we'll take it. Thank you, thank you. One and done. And now nothing, no thanks. And I'm going to do some light reading here. Got to get my get my skills up. Boom. Learn a lot about survival. Learn new ways to heal injury. Learn how to fix broken stuff. And new science information. So I am so much smarter now. So much smarter. I don't even remember what there really is to do. I mean, this is apparently a gambling place. So but you, lady. Uh, let's barter. All she has is caps, so... Can I dump off these stupid nuka colas? Yes, I can. How much are these flares worth? 47... 82. Alright, just just take these. These these were given to me by a zombie when I saved their entire people. So, you know. I ain't I ain't bitter. I'm not bitter one bit. I'm not Mr. Bitter, that's for sure. Right, we're gonna come up here. You see a very pretty lady. Let's uh let's go talk to this pretty lady. Oh, get the hell out. Alright, well. She uh, oddly enough didn't like me barging in on her. Kind of weird. Anything on the shelf? Nope. Not today. So we're just gonna keep keep searching through this town. See what we got. Guido. You see Guido? Really? That's what they're called? Oh, his name's Guido. I say you just use brute force if you don't take that much to bust a kneecap. Oh my God! They are they are saying a lot. Um, what you doing in the hub? Well, like a businessman, I'm a businessman. I thought we could discuss a business. Um, I don't think I want to have anything to do with it. I'm just going to give you the business. Well, what do you do around here? I do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I get things and information for people, whatever they might need or be looking for. Um, so you're looking for information. Uh, being a respectable businessman, I got an overhead. So I'll need a few caps to tell you what you need to know. Now that we got that straight, what you want to know about? What do you know about Decker? Well, I'm looking for a certain commodity, if you know what I mean. Stuff or needs, huh? Well, I know there's a guy over in Old Town that can probably fix you up with some stuff like that. But you know what? He needs to know who you are before you show up at his doorstep. Um, a thousand? No, you know what? You know what? I'm done talking to you. I am so over you. These guys look pretty well armed, though. Let's see. Let's see what these guys have got. Um, they do have those intense pistols with that ammo. All right, who's this guy? Lorenzo. Probably should go ahead and save. Lorenzo sounds like someone I'm going to piss off. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo the, Mag the Munificent. At your service, I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest, a maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find a more generous lending institution anywhere in the hub. Um, I came for a loan. You sound like a ripoff artist to me. Maybe later. Yeah, well, is this like just a loaning place? Is that all this place is? I want to see if I can steal anything. That'd be kind of nice. That would be... I have a feeling he's going to be very angry at me. Oh, yep. Yep, I had a feeling he wouldn't like that. All right, Lorenzo. Well, you can enjoy your loans, because I sure as hell am not going to do it. Bob's Iguana Bits. Very nice. Ah, this place has the word guns in front of it. Um, what can you tell me about Decker... Do you anything about the missing caravans? Well, the only new thing in the children's cathedral is taken over by the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Um, let's see what he's got. What have you got? You got iguanas on a stick? Yes, he does. Unfortunately, that looks disgusting. So I don't think I don't think iguana bits are gonna be for me. Guns, on the other hand, what gun do you have, lady? Guns, on the other hand, I can definitely I can definitely make happen. She has a shotgun. It looks like some sort of shotty, anyways. Shotty. All right, let's see what we got in the old gun store. Um, we're going to talk to her. Can I ask some questions? I want to buy something. I've got the best goods. What are you looking for? Let's see what she's got. Wow, a dagger. That's really impressive. Armor, I already have it. A hammer. 
which is pretty cool, but it doesn't really do me any good. As far as guns go, your gun selection, not as impressive as I thought it could be. Um, do I have anything else I can sell? I can get rid of my shotgun, I feel like. Because I can just use my hunting rifle. Um, rockets I don't really need, because I'm just going to end up killing myself. Flares I don't need. Wait, how much money did she have? Oh, I'm already way over. Uh, Alright, give me a rocket back. 12, wait, 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 backspace, backspace, 999. And I don't, I don't know the math on this. It's like 382 or something. Oh, God, I'm so bad at math. Take away 100. Offer that up. All right, well, I'm kind of saddened by the lack of awesome stuff in these places. Don't mind if I do. Just step into your own personal quarters. Man, no one has anything on their shelves that I can steal. I'm being a very bad, uh, a very bad Link. Link runs in, steals pots, and there's always, like, weapons and bombs and stuff. All right, here's the police. Let's see what this guy's got. Oh, I can't steal his armor. Pretty sad about that. If you have high enough steel skill, you can actually take the armor right off of them. If you have business with the hub police, please talk to the sheriff, Green. Um, I have a crime to report. Sorry, I can't tell you or I'd be dead. We couldn't have that, but if you ever change your mind, I don't actually have a crime to report. So, let's see. You're doing a fine job. All right, apparently, I have a feeling this is a place I'm supposed to go if, uh, if I, if I hear of a crime. So, do you guys, are you gonna mind if I, if I break in? Is that, is that gonna be cool with you guys, or, or should I not do that? Let's, let's see, is this locked? I assume this is locked. Let's see if we can lockpick it. I was not able to lockpick it. Oh, uh, come on, don't jam the lock. Let's see, if I use this, is that gonna help? All right, this is not helping. Oh, I got it. Let's see what's inside. Don't mind me, just looking around. Ah, oh, there's nothing in there. Gosh darn it. I think that these are uh, these are cells. So I, I don't I don't see what could bad could happen by letting out prisoners. Oh hey, what do you guys know? It's free. All right, well apparently they I can't let them out. But hey, I'm getting some good experience. Oh, not able to unlock it. Anybody in here? Hello? What up, buddy? Alright, well, you guys are free, just, just to let you know. We got the Fargo Traders. What's this about? Um, hello, welcome Fargo Traders. How may we help you? I'm looking for work. You're looking for work. I've heard good things about you. We can always use someone uh, of your reputation. Go in and talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Yeah, no, I'm a good guy. I definitely didn't, uh, I definitely didn't let a bunch of people out of the out of the jail. That that never happened. All right. Hey, hey guys. I uh, he told me that I could just go through your stuff. There is nothing in this entire city. Wow. Usually you can steal at least something to feel good what about you yourself. Want? Oh, hi there, buddy. Time is money. Chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Um. Here for the what or the money? I don't understand. Hot damn! Someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. <sighs> Don't spoil it. Make them quick. Well, some caravans have been disappearing on us lately. Damn if anyone can figure out what happened to them. Simple. Find out who's doing it and tell me. Or take them out. Makes no damn difference to me. Just get that job done. Well, there's, uh, <clears throat> something, but I never listen to those rumors. You, uh... You really want to hear it, huh? Well, some say it's the Death Claw, but but I don't know nothing about that. Listen, you, I ain't scared. I'm cautious. You'd be stupid not to be with the Death Claw. Look, go talk to Beth. She'll tell you more. You sound scared as a whipped dog. Make it quick. Tell yourself any good rumors. What else is rare besides the hub? Yeah, just the normal stuff. Well, there's uh. <clears throat> All right, we're not gonna. We're we're done. This guy's this guy's a little shady. Five hundred hub bucks. Uh, you can tell Butch exactly what has been happening. 
Uh, really, so collect any proof you might find. I personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks of the Brotherhood of Steel. Bush thinks it's some claw of death or something. Check with Beth. She would know more about that. Where is Beth? Beth's right out that door and to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us. And you get a 15% discount. Wow. Good thing I just uh, wasted all my money there. Kind of how it goes. To the door and to the right? Is that up here? Whatever. We'll, we'll figure it out later. I just want to keep... I want to keep exploring town. Oh, God. This does not look like a nice part of town. Oh, hello. I definitely want some of that ammo. How about you? What have you got? The same exact thing. Oh, God. This town is so large. So many... So much room for activities. All right. Really nothing going on in there. This place looks pretty shady. Oh, God. This guy's got a hammer. Jacob the arms dealer. I would like to make a deal with you. All right, please have something worth my time. He does have a lot of caps. He's got a rocket launcher, or at least the uh, the rockets. What is this? A pulse grenade, electronic pulse grenade generating an intense magnetic field on detonation. Doesn't affect biological creatures. Huh. He does have a rocket launcher, so he's at least got, oh, 8,000. God, that costs so much. He, okay, this is, this is my, this is my kind of guy. There's that awesome pistol. Ooh, this looks nice. All right, we're up to 12,000 for this stuff. I don't even think I can afford that. I have a feeling that is a little out of my price point. How many bottle caps do I have? 7,000, so I could get the armor, I think. God, this guy's got so much stuff. Are you kidding me? Can I just steal all of it? Nope. That's not gonna happen. All right, nothing in there. These guys are definitely pretty intense. That's why they're heavily armed. It would definitely appear. Um, so let's see. If I steal off of Tycho, he doesn't really have... I can steal this, I guess. And I already took everything off Ian. I want to keep the laser gun for now. Ian, come here. Nope, nope. Come here. Alright, so I can take this ammo. Uh, maximum weight capacity. What? All right, so you're taking that. I could get rid of this gun, actually. I wonder if I can make this work. Let's see. Let's see, if I barter, and I do, let's see, this gun, which is worth quite a bit, and this, this ammo, which I won't need anymore. Seven, eight, nine. And this ammo, which I have a lot of, there's 3,000. Plus that is 100, plus this. And we can do the rocket. All right, so let's do this. Let's make this happen. Let's at least get the armor. The gun is nice, the hammer, oh my god, super sledge. I remember that thing's good. All right, so I need to add a lot of caps here. This is, this is all my money. Seven, five, three, one. So I need to get rid of... Wait, wait, let's do the math. I know it's at least 200, so we'll do that. And then I need to get rid of like 25 or something. 306, so I need to get rid of three more. Hey, math isn't my strong suit, but give me that armor, baby. Yes! All right, hang on, hang on. I don't know if this was the smart thing, but boom! This armor is so freaking good. I take more damage versus lasers, but man, do I look sexy or what? Oh, I look like a marine. All right, I'm um, looking for something with a bit more punch. Any ideas where I could go? Well, you might try the gun runners over in the boneyard. They'll probably something to suit your needs. I've heard the guys at the Brotherhood of Steel pack some pretty powerful hardware too, so you might check them out. All right, thanks for that, but uh, I, I'm not done doing business yet. So just, just keep that in mind. I want to get rid of this. I want to get rid of this. I want to keep all this stuff. All right, so we'll just do that for now. All right, I got to find those bottle caps. Where are you at, bottle caps? There you are. 999. And this is going to be, wait, I can do this. I can do this. Three, wait, wait, 401. Yes! Oh, I'm so good. That was almost embarrassing. All right, that's good enough for me. All the other stuff I feel like I can just find. 
All right, so I got my fancy green armor, so that's uh, I'm now the green giant. I got my Hulk smash on. Oh, who are you? The name's Vance, and that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? Um, good to meet you. What do you sell? You seem okay. Here's what I've got. Oh God, there's more people selling stuff. Ah, he's a drug dealer. All right, all right. Leather armor and drugs. Not bad. Not bad. I kind of just want to kill everyone in this town, but not yet. Not yet. Because I actually I don't even know if I could kill everyone just yet. All right, so we're gonna go in here. And who is this? A skag. Wait, wait, there's something down here. There is something down here. This is definitely stairs. Alright, let's do this. If, can you guys let me let me through, please? Thank you. Why can I oh there's a door right here. For once it wasn't your guys' fault. Oh my god, are you serious? This is probably gonna be booby trapped, isn't it? Are you guys ready to be blown up? Because I sure am. Alright, so if I should be able to click on that, there we go. Hopefully I can lockpick this. Yep, there we go. I have a feeling that there is... Why do I feel like there's booby traps? I wonder if I can do... Traps? Oh god, there's gonna be traps. This just feels... Yep, I knew it! It totally looks like a room that would have traps. Careful, guys. Whatever you do, do not blow yourselves up. What is even down here? I have a feeling these people are not going to be happy to see me. Let's uh, let's just do some minesweeper. I know, I know there's traps nearby. Sorry, dog meat. All right, let's rest. Oh, you can't rest this location. All right, save. Let's see what we got going on in here. Oh my God, you guys! Come on, please work. Please work. Really? Okay, I got it. I got it. Yeah, what up, players? You know, just hanging out. Just one of the cool crew here. Still nothing on the shelves, even after all that. Oh, we're in the Thieves Guild. What do you want? Tell me about the circle. We had nothing to do with that. If you're lucky, you'll consider yourself one of us by the end of the day at home, part of the furniture, you know? Um, we don't discuss Mr. Decker in polite company. Hi, yourself. All right, let's see if there's anything here. This must be... The leader of the Thieves Guild. God, there's a lot to do in this town. Bloody fine job making it through the defenses, mate. I'm rather impressed. Toss me your name. Oh my god, this guy's amazing. I'm in love. I'm in love. I, I'm Jesse Cox, and I love you. Quite pleased to make your acquaintance, actually. For now. Let's get the other bit of politeness taken care of, shall we? What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell are you doing here? Oh my god, it's Total Biscuit. Nice. Nice sometimes, and just so rigid on the outside. Oh, how nice. A joiner. Well, you've worked hard enough for a look-see. But if you really want to join, then you'll have to take the second test. The second test? Quite simple, really. You prove yourself as a thief. Succeed, and the world is yours. If not, then you'll never see us again. Except if you come looking. And if you don't understand, that last bit is a threat. It's so, so simple. In the Heights, you'll find Darren Hightower's home all plump and ripe for the picking. Are you ready for life? Do you accept the challenge? That's the spirit, mate. Just talk to Jasmine in the room outside this chamber. She'll give you details, a map, and a few little goodies to help you on your way. But remember, if you even think about ratting us out to the cops, we'll be a memory before they arrive. But enough gloom. Cheerio, good luck, and ta-ta. Oh my god, so awesome. I do not remember this guy whatsoever. Alright, speaking of stealing, you, uh, you have anything in here that I can steal? You know what? I give up. I give up. There's too many people in my way. Um, tell me about Loxley. The circle? Decker? Who am I? Who am I supposed to talk to? Am I talking to the wrong person here? Is she the one I'm supposed to talk to? There we go. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Circle of Thieves. I'm Jasmine. I'm here to help you make your infiltration of the Darren Highwater Estate as painless as possible. 
High waters, uh, High Towers estate is located in the Heights. It, is a minimum, it has a minimum of two guards on duty at all times. The necklace is probably in a strong box, which often have some minor traps, so be careful. Here are some lockpicks and a couple of flares to make your job a little easier, and a bottle of Nuka-Cola. Wow, you guys are so nice. Try not to kill Mr. Hightower. He's one of our favorite quote-unquote people. You got that? That's all. <laughs> a real thief lives on her wits. We're being generous with you. Now scat! All right, well, uh, I don't know where where this person is or why I'm stealing their necklace, but that is exactly what is going to be happening. I feel like I've been playing a little longer than 20 minutes. I don't know I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I was kind of hoping I'd get to kill some stuff, but that doesn't seem to be happening. I mean, I did kill a little bit of stuff, but not, not all that much. See, nothing in there. This is a stanky warehouse. Let's play Global Thermal Nuclear War. I think I'm gonna pass on that, buddy. Is that a zombie? What is he doing here? Spare change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mutant down on his luck? <coughs> oh, kind of your friend, very kind. You know, if I could clear the gunk out of there, you uh, just might find a tear in old Harold's eye. <laughs> rest of the hubbers been picking on me like a bad booger since I came back to town. I can't leave, though. When the deals are done, it's still my home. Well, after the Great War, my vault was one of the first to open. Phew. <sighs> Long time. All started with the sirens. I was young, but ooh, I do remember that. A lot of terrible years followed. Then I remember walking out of the vault late one morning. Well, uh, I was a trader. Did pretty good making the circuit between survivors. Mm. Lost a lot of good people, though. Uh, gangers got them. Scavengers attacking the caravans and mutants. Son of a dog, if they weren't springing up like rabbits with a mission. <coughs> Had to have an army of guards with just to do a deal. Of course, they helped you, bonehead. Just too damn many to handle. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> Love that joke. <laughs> we mounted an expedition. God, Richard. Richard Gray led a small group of us up there. Richard Gray was a doctor. A little older than me, and Fran was he smart. He found the source. Some sort of old military base. We lost a lot of folks getting in there. Because it was like someone went bargain shopping at Mutant Land. Whew, cheaper by the dozens. Can't figure any other reason except that being the factory. We got pretty far inside. Wasn't a lot of us left by then. Gray, me, and a couple of others. One of them robots got Francine. Mark was wounded. Sent him back to the surface. Then, it was just me and Gray. To this day, I don't know. He never made it back here, and... Well, I... Couldn't face the wasteland again, so... I I never looked. We made it to some sort of central core, like a plant of some sort. That's when it happened. A robot crane crashed into us. Last I saw Gray, he was flying through the air and into some sort of acid bath. I was in bad shape and, well, I passed out. Didn't. Got killed. <laughs> God, I love that joke. <laughs> Well, I have no idea. Woke up in the wasteland, barely hanging on. Got lucky, and some traders I knew found me days later. Good thing, since I was already changing. They brought me here, and here I've been since. All I know is it was something inside that base. How the hell should I know? Gray would have known if anybody could. <sighs> anyway, that's how the deal went down. Well, thanks for letting me tell it. Oh, he's such a cute little zombie. Oh, hey, it's you again. Anything I can do for you? 
Well, I just gave him twenty dollars for no reason. Oh, hey, anything I can. All right. Well, I definitely chatted his ears off, or he chatted my ears off, or someone's losing an ear from that much talking. Um, so let's see, I got the new armor. I'm kind of curious as to where I can get a new weapon, because I don't have that much money. I don't think I have, like, any money right now. Especially after talking to that guy. Jeez. He was nice, though. He was nice. I'm kind of curious if I, uh, can zone out anywhere. Just to try and see what's going on. Come on, come on, guy. I guess we're going to go back to this part of town. I am running a little low on ammo, which I'm kind of sad about. Let's see. You got anything I can steal? Oh, God, there's a board there. Probably has work on it. This place is, like, actually overwhelming. There's so much to do. Currently following positions, caravan guards. You know what? I want to do a caravan just to just to. Oh God! There's even more to this town. It's the never-ending town. And this one has got some pretty sweet banners hanging everywhere. So, water merchants down there. I'm assuming there's nothing in this house because there hasn't been anything in any of the houses. Nope. Come on, let me through. Let me through. And what is this? Is this some sort of church? What is going on here? What do you want? Tell me about your work. I'm a hired hand. The priest, bitch. All right, let's go talk to Thorndike. Sure, you're enjoying. Treat you if you wish. I'm a healer. How much? I'm a healer, not a money lender. The cathedral sees to my needs, so I might. Sure. Let's see what happens. Wow. 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 Um. Let's see. I want to talk to this guy down here. He's got some fancy robes on. He looks like he... Jane is his name. Why do you Her disturb name? an elder of the cathedral? Have you studied the sacraments, child? Then you should know high elders of the cathedral do not just hand out blessings. You will leave now. Wow. You are not wow, Jane. How about I steal your stuff, huh? How about I steal your robe right off your back? God, that did not go well. Oh my god, they do not like me at all. Jeez, trying to play it nice. Trying to play it nice, and this is how they treat me. Um. Oh my god, they. This has not been going well. This has not been going well. Water merchants, I don't even know what that means. I guess they sell me water or something. There's a cow. So that's a thing. Oh, well, excuse me. Excuse me, cow. Coming on through. All right, what do we got going on in here? Let's hear it. We need new parts. Oh, yes, sorry. What can I do for you? I want a job. Sure, great. You're hired. What? What position? Oh, caravan guard. Right, yeah, sure. You can work for us. You look okay. Anything else? Nope. All right. Well, how do I how do I start? How do I how do I join the caravan? That this place doesn't seem very well put together. I wonder if I can go talk to this guy. Are you gonna tell me what's up? Wait, good you got okay, I knew it wouldn't be a problem. She's a swamp lady. Ever since Darren Highwater started hiding in his office. Strange man. We leave just about every five days. That's the first, fifth, tenth, and fifteenth, twentieth, and twenty-fifth. We're currently only go to Junktown and the LA Boneyard. Um Yes, please come by on February twenty-fifth. Alright, let's see, let's see if we go to Pip. I wanna sleep. Uh, on the 25th, apparently, is. Wait, maybe go to noon. Yeah, go to noon so I don't actually miss the caravan. All right, so this should take me to the 24th. One more day has got to be the 25th. And let's see what happens. Uh, let's go to the LA Boneyard. Let's do it. Welcome to the Adidium. Adidum. Adam? Ad Aditum? 
Watch yourself. We'll be watching you. Never mind have a use for you. Come inside. But remember, we're watching. Well, here we are. Here's your payment of 200 caps. He pulls out a dog-eared money bag and gives you the money. You will get another 200 caps if you return with us to the hub. We'll rest here for a while, but don't go too far or the caravan will leave without you. Uh, we usually leave two hours after arrival. There's nothing here we haven't seen before, though, so if you want to leave earlier, we're ready whenever you are. Um, okay. All right. All right. Where the hell is this? This is like a whole new town, man. Oh, here's a thing that goes down. Um, Cassio at the hub merchants. Like to do some trading. All right, let's see what he's got. Not, ooh, plastic explosive. Those are always nice. All right, well, uh, for some reason, I decided to play this game a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Through. And I also got to open this door for, let the dog in here. What up, dog meat? Oh, you know, just hanging out. No big deal. All right, anyone, anyone want to talk to me? It's good to see you again. Everyone's being kind of weird. Gotta be honest. Uh, let's go on to floor two, see if there's anything happening. See what the haps is up here. Ah, this person looks different. Teresa. You, uh, you want to come with me, babe? Go with me and wander the wastes? How fair is your journey? Uh, not so well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope that you're able to find the chip soon. With all the hazards I've been running into, it may take some time. Hmm, from what I've read, the outside isn't really all that dangerous, but I suppose that you would know better than I, wouldn't you? Well, you know, it's going pretty well. Um, it's good to hear that I knew that the outside world couldn't be as bad as everyone says. I mean, our ancestors lived outside, right? But that paranoid overseer won't let us leave. Let's see. You're right, the outside world isn't all that bad. The world is dangerous to the unprepared. I knew that the outside couldn't be too bad. That's why I've been trying to convince some people to come outside with me. I think that we have a better chance of survival out there. Uh, that's probably a good idea. A lot of us think so. That's why we're planning to take some supplies and head in a few days. Say, do you have any advice for us? Okay, well, thanks. Actually, let me try something. It's going pretty well. Um, isn't that bad? What are you smoking? Oh, get real. Do you really think that we can live in this vault generation after generation? Maybe you can find a new chip. But what happens when the next thing breaks down? And the next? Maybe we can't stay here forever, but rushing out into the world without preparation, without the consent of the group, isn't the answer. Oh, come on. Wake up. If he thinks the outside is so dangerous, then how come he sent you out there? The man just has the control complex. You're a stupid tool, and you don't even know it. All right. Well, you know what? I'm done with you. I, I tried. I tried to help out. And you're just being crazy. So, what can you do? Alright, so these are all Vault 13 citizens. Nothing really, nothing really that. Oh, Lyle, this is a special guy. I can talk to him. It's all about Lyle. What up, Lyle? Hello, how are you holding up? Not so good. Ever since I had one of my water rations stolen the other day, things have been getting, uh, going downhill. Everybody is getting scared and nobody knows what to do. Um, I hope it gets better. Yeah, I hope so too. Let me talk to him again. I don't know if there's any quests I can do. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't really want to chit-chat as well. He's just all crazy about his water. All right, these are all citizens. No one's special. Cindy, what up, Cindy? Let's see what Cindy has to say. Hello, just Cox. Have you found the water chip yet? Not yet. I haven't had that much luck. Not yet, but I know where to find it. By the way, how are you doing? Um, I'm afraid of what is happening. Someone has been stealing water, and everyone is on edge. Who would do such a thing? Some people have been accused, and fights have broken out, but nobody really knows. All right, so there's uh, there's some issues going on. I do have the chip, right? Like this is this is correct. Yeah, I have the water chip. I guess I just like to lie to people. It's like, hey, people I grew up with who taken care of me my whole life. Nope, haven't found that water chip. You know, but I'm done. Hopefully someday. Hopefully someday I'll find that water chip. And let's see, citizen, citizen. I imagine they're a citizen. You can't talk to them, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, citizen, are you a citizen? Yes, you are. Big booty, big booty over here looking at the computer. And, oh, how about this guy? The water guard. What up, water guard? Hello, how are you doing? Can I take some? Hello, everyone, this is HTSKS here, back with some more Fallout campaign playthrough action. There we go, now we're in the game. And remember, guys, we found the water chip, the water chip, the water chip. We've, oh, oh, you feel very nauseous. All right, well, thanks for stopping me to let me know that I feel very nauseous. That's uh, that's quite nice of you. All right, let's go back up to Vault 13, baby. Here we go. And, yeah. Oh, here's an encounter. Who is it? Who done it? Oh, it's Scorpions. 
Oh, great. Of course I got poison. Well, let's, uh, first of all, let's use this gun just because I have a ridiculous amount of ammo for that gun. And I should actually probably use the hunting rifle now that I think about it. However, oh, oh, I forgot to reload. All right, well, there was my turn. That was very productive. I have, I have a feeling that Ian and, uh, there you go, punch him in the face. I have a feeling that Ian and Dogby can definitely handle this. Dogby usually kills them one-on-one -on -one and wasn't able to that time. Can you guys please just kill one of these? That would be great. I would prefer not to get more and more poisoned. All right, so there we go. Shoot him in the eyeballs, babe. What? I missed. Oh, all right, time to run away. Come on, Tycho. There you go. 20 damage on that one. Dog meat, you finish him off. Yes. Now we're talking. See, now we're working as a team. Now, wait, well, you know what I want to try? What happens when I burst mode these guys? Burst mode. Oh, it's the same death. Kind of sad about that. All right, well, thank you for the free experience, you stupid scorpions. Man, they give them quite a bit of experience for what they really are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get some supplies. I'm not feeling very well. Someone cracked my head with a big pipe. I went to the medic, but his head, my head still hurts. Sure hope someone catches the jerk that hit me. Um, why did they do that? Well, they attacked me while I was here pretty late one night. Usually I go home by 8 or so, but I was staying late since someone had some water stolen, and I was checking our supplies. Next thing I know, I wake up in the med lab with a big bump on my head. Things are getting crazy around here. Someone's going to get killed for water soon, and I don't know what we can do about it. Um, this sounds like a this sounds like a job for H to the Husky Husky, and uh, let's see what we got going on in here. Just uh, oh my God, 40! What are, what are you even supposed to do with these waters? There's two of them in there. I I honestly have no idea what I would even do with that much water. I don't really need that stuff either. So we'll see if there's anything useful in here. I have a I have a feeling that there's not anything useful because you could run in here at the start of the game. Oh God, really guys? Really guys? Is this, is this how it's going to be right now? Uh, maybe if I talk to Ian. Um, I need to change formation. Move out to a longer range. All right, maybe maybe you'll move away now. Uh, I need to keep move out to a longer range. All right, guys. No, but for reals, I uh, there you go. Whew. Had me worried as hell. Oh, wait, I didn't tell him he could leave. He's not leaving, is he? Oh God! Oh no! Come back! Come back! Uh, thanks for your help. Uh, what sort of weapons? I need to change formation. All right, keep it a moderate distance, okay? That that was terrifying. I thought homie was like piecing out for sure. Uh, oh, I'll take the med packs. Hopefully, hopefully no one minds. See, use the antidote, and that should you lost five current poison levels. Hopefully, hopefully that got rid of all my poison level. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's a way to tell. But I should be I should be okay. All right, back to Vault 13. These guys are gonna die of uh, having no water just because it takes me so long to get all the way up there. Uh oh, water supply is running low. Don't worry, I found it. What's funny is they actually have like a hundred days, and that is a long time. And they should just believe in me. They should believe in my powers because I'm awesome. I apparently feel very nauseous again. Well, sometimes you just gotta get over it, okay? You've got to get over it. So we're making a long trek all the way back to the vault. And once we get there, uh, we're going to get them the water chip, which should give me some fatty XP, hopefully. And then I might go back to the hub, kind of check out what's going there. And continue on through. Oh, God. Living quarters, command center, cavern entrance. I guess we'll just go here. Heard about some of these places before, but never been in one. Seems nice and clean. A little too clean for my taste. Uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of, it takes a while to get used to. You know, this is the rich lifestyle. And I wonder, can I talk to any of these people? I don't even know. I'm glad you are doing well. Well, thank you, man who has a very large package. How about you? You want to talk to me? You look okay to me? All those rumors must be untrue. Welcome back, Jesse Cox. How goes the search? It's going okay. Wait, wait, what can this guy actually do? I need some help. You seem okay to me. Come back if you need some. Oh, he's a healer. He is a healer. Good to know. Well, I was feeling nauseous. How, how can you say I look fine when I was... Obviously feeling nauseous. All right, guys, you gotta you gotta step off of me here. You gotta let me get. Through.